Hey, ¿qué pasa? I'm Eduardo, aka Edmotions, that's a Smurf Lamp, and today I'm gonna show you how to animate a flame in After Effects. Create a circle shape and convert it into a bezier path. You can do this by right clicking on the ellipse shape and clicking on Convert to Bezier Path in the drop down menu. This allows to select each vertex separately. Delete both sides vertices and keep the top and bottom ones. Pull the tangents until you get a shape similar to a tier. Something like this. And now we're gonna move the anchor point right to the bottom edge of the shape. Press Alt and click on the watch next to the scale property to add an expression. Add a wiggle expression. The first number determines how often you want your value to move per second. And the second one, how much that value is allowed to change above and below the starting value. I recommend you rename your layers and keep order within the project. Add a wave warp effect to the layer. Web warp is a really, really useful effect, but at the same time, it sucks. I'll show you why later on. But first, let's tweak it a bit to get that flame effect. I like to use a smooth noise wave type for this effect. We need the pinning to be on the bottom edge, not vertical, Eduardo. I'll give the wave a height of 138 points, because I want the variation to be subtle and I want the width to be pretty big. I'm giving it a 1398 value. Again, these numbers depend on the size of your shape, so you might need to try a bit before you find out what's best for you. I'm gonna increase the wave speed a little bit, change some aliation to high, and give the shape a more fiery color. Fire glows, so add a glow effect. Giving a wide edge to the shape will make the flame look brighter. Also, you can increase the glow radius. I'm gonna make the color a bit lighter. And increase the intensity and radius of the glow some more. This already looked like a flame. We could stop here, but personally, I have a more cartoonish style. So I'm gonna duplicate the layer and I'm gonna scale it down. And make the big one orange. And change the order of the layers, of course. Remember I told you web warp sucks? Here's why. Wave warp doesn't affect the Bezier curve. It affects the pixel. That's why the amount of distortion you can add without getting these steps is limited. The effect itself comes with an anti-aliasing option, but to be fair, it doesn't do much. I haven't found any effective plugin that generates these waves in the vector line rather than the pixels, so if you guys know any, please let me know. There is, however, a workaround that works pretty well. We'll need to add a matte choker effect. Don't forget to change the order of the effects. We want the glow effect to be the last. Otherwise, the matte choker will choke the glow. By incrementing the geometric softness, we'll get rid of those steps, or at least reduce them. Do the same to the outside shape. This technique is far from being perfect, because it won't work for the inside edge of the shape's stroke. This can be fixed by eliminating that stroke. However, if you want to keep it, 
In this particular animation, the speed of the movement won't let the eye notice the imperfections. Thanks a lot for watching, I really really hope you learned something today and if you think you did, please hit subscribe, hit the bell, goodbye.